Into round three then, the test of observational skills. We're about to show you and our contestants a sketch specially written and shot for the programme. You'll see it only once, and in the course of that sketch there will be six deliberate continuity errors. The challenge is to spot them all, whether they're changes to costume or props that shouldn't have happened, or obvious dialogue inaccuracies. So, contestants, turn to your screens now, please. Concentrate very hard on Steve Coogan's multi-character tribute to the comics. Right on, yes, indeed. Bit of satire, bit of alternative, bit of tropicality, oh, bit of fluff, designer fluff, that is very funny, yes. That is possession symbol of a happening social group. And what kind of happening social groups have we got today? Well, we've got yuppies, young, up and mobile professionals. We've got dinkies, double income, no kids, and we've got monkeys. Three old geezers trying to make a comeback in a pop group. Yes, very topical, very topical, very well, Give him a blankety blank checkbook and pen, somebody. What are we watching this for? It's eight o'clock, I thought you said Elton was on now. Is he Elton? Heck, he's had some comments to take him. He's Ben Elton, not Elton John. He's an alternative comedian. Alternative comedian? Well, I'm more last from two things. He wouldn't have lasted two minutes at Clitheroe Empire on a Saturday night. That was the only place he learned. Clitheroe Empire. My dear, they used to throw things at comics in those days. Butter kissed, chalk ices, black pudding. If you didn't get a return booking, at least you got a square meal. What else is on? Oh dear, oh dear. Characters? Our regiment was full of them. I remember there was a wee Scotsman, Jock McTaggart. He kept complaining his cigarette was burning his tongue. Turned out the sergeant had asked him to smoke with the lit end in his mouth because of the air raids. Oh dear, oh dear. What do you do that for? Well, it's all fashion, Tony Hancock. I want something modern. 1989, up front. If you were any more up front, 1989 wouldn't be a year. It'd be your dress size. Not watching this. Let him do Clitheroe Pavilion like us old stages had to. If you want to last in show business, you have to learn from people like me. Put me out an LP on, will you? Well, Elton John seems to have lasted all right. What did he learn from you? It's obvious, isn't it? I gave him piano lessons. That's the lot. Turn to the front, please, contestants, and you now write down as many of the continuity errors as you can. And while they get on with that, I thank you to Steve Coogan for the sketch. And here's a chance to see him again as we show you just what those six continuity errors were. Number one was the time. The clock was showing 9.15, but Les said... It's eight o'clock. I thought you said Elton was on now. Then a deliberate costume error. Ben was wearing an ordinary tie at the beginning, but it changed early on to a bow tie. Next, the lamp on top of the television became one of a completely different type. And then a dialogue inaccuracy. It wouldn't have lasted two minutes at Clitheroe Empire on a Saturday night. But it wasn't the Empire later on. Let him do Clitheroe Pavilion like his old stages had to do. Mrs. Dawson's knitting provided error number five. It changed from blue to red. And finally, a major costume mistake. Les's cardigan had been unbuttoned for most of the sketch, but at the end, it was suddenly fastened up. Well, if you got all six, you did extremely well, and indeed better than our contestants, although one almost got there. Here precisely is how they fared. Phil, you got three right. Carol, you also got three right. And Fiona, you did as well, so all three of you share second place, which means that Phil Smith wins it because he brilliantly spotted five errors. And right away, we shall enter all those points into the scoreboards, and that has helped Phil's cause. He's now within two points of the leader, who, with a Krypton factor of 26, is still the nursery nurse from Ilkeston, Derbyshire, Fiona Palmer.